What's going on, everybody? We're back. It's your friend Will. This is the Memory Lapse. And uh, yeah, back to standard with real decks today. Um, and we're going to be starting with this one from the winner of this SCG Invitational, which was a split event, standard and uh, modern. But for our purposes, we're interested in what they played in standard. This is, uh, I think it was Andrew Jessup. Actually, both Jessup brothers made top eight, but I think it was Andrew Jessup who ended up winning. And this is the list. It's kind of an interesting take on the Drake's deck. It's got, oh, hold on. Ooh, almost sneezed there. It's kind of like a hybridization of the Drake's deck and uh, Andrew Sullivan's deck. So we've got the Niv-Mizzets with all the Drakes, and then you have the three dive downs and the three spell pierces to protect them, cutting uh, Goblin Electromancer entirely, but keeping our curve low still with Opt, Shock, Charter Course, Lava Coil, and Discovery with the one Beacon Bolt, and even some Search for Iscontas, I guess, to help you go long. And then the sideboard, I don't know if this is <coughs> misreported or not. We're going to find out. But this Raptor Hatchling is kind of a odd sideboard guy. <laughs> really, I guess maybe it comes in against Mono White uh, to block once and get a 3-3 blocker just to help you survive. It kind of makes sense there, but not entirely sure. And I haven't watched any of the VODs yet because at this point, they don't think they've gone up. Um, but yeah, everything else looks pretty self-explanatory, and we love the Drake's deck, so maybe we'll start off by playing it in, oh, we don't want to mulligan any of these white and black spells. Play it in competitive play real quick, since it's early. <clears throat> so while we're loading here, I want to thank everyone again for course for watching and remember you can uh, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content help me build a following grow the channel that's what's important to me right now and uh, to kind of reward everyone for your support we are gonna do another stream this week on Thursday oh shoot see look at this I'm trying to like plug my channel and I'm misclicking the buttons but yeah Thursday's gonna be a stream day Taking the day off, probably be starting around 10, 10.30 Eastern Time. And going from there. And we'll be playing competitive, constructed, I have to imagine, most of the time. Um, trying out top tier decks, trying to grind out some gold, and recording for YouTube at the same time. So please make sure to uh, join if you can, pop in and say hi. And I'll be taking questions and... You know, interacting while we play. It'll be really fun. Better than this. I won't I won't keep accidentally keeping the no landers on stream, I promise. <clears throat> and with that out of the way, we can focus on the game. Alright, so we have a three lander here. We can keep we've got search op, lava coil. I'm going to assume that we should be playing this like the Viren build and not just opting turn one. The downside of holding the opts that our Enigma Drake stays at zero toughness, but we can always play, decide if we want to play Enigma Drake on three, and then we can just play spells the turn we're going to attack with it. Okay. So I'm guessing this is Grixis. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I guess we can library that. We are drawing into niv -Mizzet with this deck. This we can... Graveyard, so we're going to be drawing a lot of cards this turn. Let's do some main phase opting here. I want to shock this so I can hold up dive down. <clears throat> Alright, just going to help us get to the visit. Oh, 
And we're at four cards in graveyard. Mm. All right, Nicol Bolas. I can just eat a lava coil. <clears throat> I think we're just trying to aggro flip at this point. We can flip next turn if we top deck a red source. <clears throat> I guess we have to worry about that this deck probably plays one Eldest Reborn based on our experience with the list. They've already been to Vrass's Contempt. Alright, so they're going to miss on this Duress, but if they have a Vrass's Contempt here, they're going to see that they can resolve it. Graveyard, Transform. Alright, so we have a backup Drake here. And I guess actually we'll hold off on playing it. And we'd rather probably activate our Ascanta in response to them, like trying to kill this Drake. Because we can find Spell Pierce or we can find Dive Down. Hmm. Dispersal. So the question is, do we look at four? We can find a dive down and win on the spot. Or we can just like play chart and enigma drake. Guess let's play chart and enigma drake. Wow. Uh Looks like they had no answers. <clears throat> Alright, so game three. Now that we know what they're up to. I'm guessing we're going to take the shocks out. And bring in... Nidmizit. Sample Stroke seems good against their deck in particular. Maybe we even take out some lava coils. Because so I can see bringing in the Rowls and the treasure maps, even. <clears throat> and just going bigger. Yeah. I kind of like leaving in the lava coils, though. Like this. Let's do this. Although maybe it's important to bring the two treasure maps if you're going to bring in the third div visit to help you ramp into it. All right, that was a good comeback from a turn zero loss where we misclicked our mulligan. Yeah, this feels like a keep. <clears throat> Make sure I click the right button there. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll just be charting next turn. Oh, maybe not. I'm assuming they'll take one of the creatures, perhaps the Disdainful Stroke. Alright, so instead of charting, we'll play Discovery. Hmm. I like both of these, so we'll take the island, leave the search for, on top, uh, so that way they can't Thought Erasure it out of our hand, because that's going to be our spell next turn. If they want to counterspell it, they can counterspell it. OK, 
Okay, it looks like they... The speed at which that resolve makes me think they don't have the stateful stroke in hand. Okay, just the resolving treasure map here. Don't need that. <clears throat> I think we're just charting. Possibly double charting. Want to keep these, but we want to play them with a uh, dive down backup against this deck that we know has uh, <clears throat> cast down in it. And we're close to flipping. I like that this deck flips search quickly. Let's opt here. We're still looking for land. Sulfur Falls is good. Just gives us a chance now to flip if we want to. I think we do. Simply get another blue source into play. And this gives us the option to disdainful stroke or dive down. That will resolve. I think we're using these exclusively just to protect the Drake at this point. They know about both of these. I don't think they know about these three. I think they saw this Drake, but not this one. Assuming I played them in the right order. Nicol Bolas. I guess we're going to stroke this. If they have Lava Coil, that's fine. <clears throat> no negate from them, that's good. Our second dive down is huge. Hmm. I wonder if I have to worry about... Well, I'm not going to, because this just potentially represents lethal next turn if it resolves. But I do wonder if I have to worry about Star of Extinction out of their sideboard here. If they would bring it in as a 7 mana sweeper. I don't think that they would. We'll just hold up double dive down here. And assume that their play is a bunch of targeted removal. All right, I feel like that's good for me. The Eldest Reborn. Dive down doesn't help against that one. But we can race it with our hand. We are playing one black source for the dis dispersal half. I guess if we take chart, yeah. Drawing two seems like it'll be good here. You silly goose. Probably just discard the Enigma Drake here. Uh, the scariest thing would be a second Eldest Reborn. So I shouldn't discard that. Discard Lava Coil. This Rao can kill whatever. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, we're way ahead on cards. <clears throat> They're not exactly bringing back any all-stars here. I was protect against where oh, the elves are born, and this is going to bring something back, so we need to be able to attack through it. We've got dive down and spell pierce, both of which they know. No, they think they don't know about this dive down. Actually, I'm not sure. Because again, they still have not added the thing to show. What your opponent knows about. Oh, they're bringing this back. Hmm. All right, goodbye, Rao, probably. I have one dive down left in the deck. I wonder if they're thinking about. Well, they can't really flip their nickel bolus. They need to find removal. And what they really need is two pieces of removal because I know they want to flip that nickel bolus. They don't want to jump block with it. All right, there's one. Might as well spell pierce it to make them pay more mana. So this is like the best mana they have to work with. <clears throat> if I take the dive down, the Drake survives this attack. And they don't get to flip. We'll hold this because they don't know what it is. All right, Doom Whisperer. Beacon Bolt, seems good. Alright, <clears throat> who even needs game one? Cool, so that was pretty good. I think we're going to play with this deck in competitive constructed for sure. Uh, we're going to cut the video here. Because again, I'm recording in the morning, and I apologize that we're probably only going to be on two videos a day until the stream on Thursday, because my weekend schedule was such that I couldn't get ahead in recording. So I'm kind of just playing, um, recording day to day right now. So yeah, probably just two videos a day until Thursday. But yeah, we'll be right back, and we'll jump into Competitive Constructed with this very cool take on Drake's.